Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to another Pro Clubs Goalkeeper Tips video. It's been a long time since I've done an updated build video and I thought I'd actually cover it for you guys and I kind of want to talk about a few things and that's mainly my recent switch to manual. If you guys didn't know already, I have recently switched from semi-assisted to manual and I seem to be doing pretty well with it. I've made like maybe one or two mistakes with it but that's pretty normal. You're going to go ahead and just when you get to manual, you're not going to be perfect straight away are you? So. It, it does sometimes, you know, you do get mucked over slightly. I'm not too sure where you actually change it to manual, I forgot. Um, but I'm just going to show you guys a few things like my camera and stuff like that. But as you can see here, just playing on manual at the moment. And the camera settings that I do use, people always ask it, but I don't think it actually makes too much of a difference either way. But I just use like default and it's literally just like that. And like you can't really change it. It's only, it's, I think it's only when you're actually a like you're actually like outfield that it does it but I'm just gonna go ahead and just put it up anyway because I on PC I used to have it like this and I used to actually just like it, it did help a tiny bit like the, with the crosses back post it kind of helped me with that and dealing with those because obviously they can be a bit of an issue sometimes and you've got to be careful with those because crosses back posts do happen very often in the VFL so the build that I'm currently using at the moment I'm using a 6 for 5 181 pound acrobatic goalkeeping build and it just seems to be the best for me and I'm currently got my pro's booth on by the way. Shout out to Fish PC for the lookalike. I will leave the video and his channel in the description because obviously he did it. I'm not too sure what that's a game face. I don't even have a game face. But instead of having the hair that, I, that he went with, he normally he recommends going with uh, the lanky bangs. But I, he does booth one does have the hair, but I do like using the slick and curly as well because it kind of just I don't know. It just it looks quite cool. So I'm just going to switch up a little bit once in a while. But moving on to the build, so acrobatic. As you can see, my diving is 85, my handling is 79, my kicking is 80, positioning 83, reflexes and 86. And then obviously as you can see here, six foot five, 181 pounds, and I'm right-footed. I will show you guys my accomplishments in a minute as well. It's long overdue doing that as well, showing you guys how close I am to 89 rated goalkeeper boots. I use the Puma um, Evo. I think that Evo Power like lava or something. Something along those lines, but let's have a look. The Evo, Evo Speed, Lava Blast, White, and Total Eclipse. They're my favorite boots I use, and I use the Puma Evo Power gloves. That's what I was getting confused with. And then I use low socks. I don't know, I'm just kind of going through a time of using low socks at the moment. Do kind of like them. And if I do want to switch up my look, I will go with this look, which I go ahead and use the, the Adidas Ace Core Black, White, and Soda Yellow. And then I match it with a pair of gloves, which is these, the Ace Zone Pro Soda Yellow and Black. I like to kind of be matching and have a look alike. I kind of like to match the gloves with the boots with the color wise and keep the, sch the scheme kind of like similar. But I normally tend to use the red because red is just generally. I, I love Puma. Puma is probably one of my favorite like, companies for boots and gloves on the games. And they have been recently. Like, the last FIFA I used Adidas. Um, but this one I've used uh, Puma mainly. But the traits that I do use flat kick, long throw, driven pass, skilled dribbling, and indeed and swerve pass. I will be changing. One of the passing ones for, um, where is it, acrobatic clearance once I actually unlock it. I'm very close to unlocking it, but I will be getting rid of one of them. Probably the driven pass when I do actually unlock it. Um, but let's just go ahead and jump into the accomplishments right now for you guys. So you can have a look at those and see how close I am. I have really been grinding on Xbox to try and get that 89 rated goalkeeper. It's coming. It's not going to be too long. Um, but as you can see, my goalkeeper accomplishments are kind of working towards these. I did complete these all actually on, X on PC, sorry. Um, but obviously now that I'm playing on Xbox, it, I've got to redo them all again. And obviously a 300 diving save takes a little bit of time, but I am slowly getting towards those. Um, going on to physical, this is where you've got to get most of your physical to get the 89 rated goalkeeper. You've got to get all your reactions. I've got to work on goals from volleys inside the box. Uh, I've got to also work on catch your opponent offside 155 times. It's going to take ages. And I've obviously got to get these jumping ones as well. And obviously balance helps and strength helps. There's all, the, all these you should really have if you want to try and get the 89 rated goalkeeper. Uh, mental, the, these don't really matter too much. Like you'd have to worry about them. Maybe vision might help a tiny bit, um, but that would be quite good. These, these vision, I'll probably work on at some point when I play outfield. Passing, I need to finish all my passing. I don't think you need all of them to get 89 rated, but I just like to kind of work on these anyway and just kind of get towards them. But I'm getting close to quite a few things to actually unlock with like everything. And as you can see, I've pretty much got all my uh, accessories or kits and stuff like that appearance traits I am a few off actually getting the acrobatic clearance I'm getting there slowly and I actually do need to work on a few things and Xbox like I said I, I used to play PC an awful lot but now I'm on the VFL and I'll play VFL very often I like to kind of just try and stay like I don't know I like to try and stay on one console to kind of stay used to it 
um, but it does seem to work out pretty well. Leaderboard on PC, I was about 60th in the world, but on this, I'm going to be like a thousand. Yeah, I'm pretty much a thousand, so that's going to take a long time to get down. It all comes down to how many games you play at the end of the day. Um, but anyway, guys, hopefully you have enjoyed this video talking about my updated build and my lookalike and stuff. But any questions, guys, for the next Golf Group Tips, I thought I'd just cover this in one of them. I will answer any other questions in the next one. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.